Quando Rondo says his crew was acting in self-defense the night of the incident that took place with King Von in Atlanta. Let's get into it, man. Make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe. Now, since all of this came out, a lot of misleading and unverified information has come out. We've reported on several different things that eventually turned out to be something different. And some of the things we've reported on were the actual facts. But now TMZ is reporting that Quando Rondo and his team is saying that his crew was defending himself the night of the incident in Atlanta. Now, they were going to say that this source told them the rapper wasn't seeking out a fight with King Von the night that this incident took place at the Hookah Lounge in Atlanta. And they're saying that Von was acting as the aggressor in this particular brawl that actually took the life of King Von. Now, sources also say that Quando was napping in his car outside the club when he woke up. Von's crew was there and things suddenly got tense. Now, we remember the manager saying that people did walk up to the car and tell Von that Quando Rondo was asleep. Now, a lot of people, including myself, thought, well, maybe, just maybe that was a slang term for Quando Rondo was lacking, but no, it was actually what they said it was, according to this article. He was actually napping in the car. Now, it's saying things suddenly got tense, and they're told that Vaughn approached Quando and his crew with anger, which led to the brawl. Now, if you watch the video, we do see that King Vaughn was walking around and him and Quando Rondo happened to run into each other shortly after Vaughn hopped out the car, according to the manager, looking for Quando Rondo. And that's where it went down at. Now, the new footage outside the club, as we all seen, appears to show that King Vaughn did throw some punches at Quando Rondo, which that's true as far as this article goes. And Quando Rondo's cap is saying that they were just defending himself and they're told Quando didn't know what was going on and believed that his life was in danger. Quando is not facing any charges. And according to law enforcement, the case is closed and they have the person that they want for taking the life of King Von. Now, with that being said, and these things in this article and it coming out, I believe that it was purposely put out by management or somebody who is representing a legal team or trying to just clear Quando Rondo's name as well as set up a self-defense claim for Lil' Tim, which may work depending on what all footage is used as well as if they end up subpoenaing the, I don't know if I said that right, the interview with DJ Academics that the manager did. I believe that they would be able to put up a fight in the state of Georgia according to Georgia law for self-defense, but I'm not sure. Get in the comment section, though. Let me know what y'all think about this, man. It, it, it's it's uh, it's up in the air. It's up in the air, man. I, I, I'm not sure. I'm not even sure how I feel about the, uh, they felt that their life was in danger. It could be true. And a lot of people point to Vaughn's past and Vaughn's reputation, as well as what Vaughn raps about that, you know, people who engage with him or got into it with him possibly would think that their life would be in danger uh, off top. But it looks like Vaughn just wanted to fight and not do, you know, get into anything uh, crazy. But get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about all of this. I'm Amadi the Ruler. Make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe, and click that notification bell so you get notified each and every time I upload new content. Peace.